Okay, so I'm bringing you another little tool that I found, uh, discovered, so to say, through the app, the app room on FriendFeed. It's a web app for FriendFeed. They call it FF Scheduler, or FriendFeed Scheduler, if you want to be officially long with the title. But what happens is, you go to the site, and as you can see here, it shows you what you can do. And of course, it takes uh, takes advantage of the, the new API, where it's you know kind of like how you could link your account with Twitter, you know, on certain sites. Now you can do this with FriendFeed. With this is part of their um, 2.0 uh, API. I should say, not 2.0, but their new API 2.0, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> enough of that. So you sign in with your FriendFeed account. And then, of course, I already signed in, and it already took over. So pretty much what you could do is see, like, I posted one already. I tested something. And what it does is, because if you're familiar with Twitter, and there's a few there's a few apps, a few websites, web apps that does this here, too. So this is the first one for friend feed, basically. Basically, you could schedule what to post and when it would be post. So in other words, let's say, like, you know you're gonna be out but there's something you want to post but you won't be able to post it in time so therefore you can use this here to post it so you know you click on new post click on a title let's say uh, you know as usual on let's see H E D U L E R for the videos <laughs> and now if you want you can add a link to it you can even put in your first comment which is what you used to be able to do on friend feed but ever since they changed you can't really put a first comment but now you can with this sort of thing you can choose which uh, rooms or apps or wherever you want it to be posted to and you can even choose what time you want it to get posted to so in other words like, see, and you can even change it, because it's not going to say your, uh, it's going to say your time, but it's not going to be in the time zone, so you can change that in the options page, which I'll show you after this here. So, let's go here real quick. Let's say, let's go to my page here. Yes, ignore all the fact that I went crazy on last FM here. Uh, okay, so it's 4.53. Now... It already went like an hour ahead, like three something. So let's uh, 503. So let's say 54. Uh, let's say let's go back to four. Let's say four. 56. Yeah, because it's about one more minute. Because it's almost 55. So so okay. Now you press schedule post and it's gonna tell you okay scheduled post it's gonna be it tells you when it's gonna be scheduled to post. So in other words, and it's got a little countdown too, so I got one minute and like eight seconds for this to be posted and before then you can even edit it or you can cancel the post basically. So as you go to the home page, two totals entries, one waiting, one has already been posted, and you already saw that. Now if there's one thing I think it should have with the DM with direct messaging, it should I think it should have direct messaging. Um, that would be kind of nice. I don't know, just just me though. Like direct messaging, sending it to a direct message would be kind of nice. But uh, so yeah, I don't know. Like and uh, well, yeah. So the options. So yeah, like see, I'm in Central, so that's the negative six. And what happens is you can change it and then you update it basically. Hold on, it should be posting any second now. Nine. Click again. See? Recording a video on Friend Free Scheduler two seconds ago from Friend Free Scheduler. See? Posted it. So yeah, that's pretty much the that's pretty much all there is to it. It's really easy to use. You know, you got the home page, see, two entries, two posted. New post posted it shows you what you posted uh shows you what you got waiting to be posted and of course the options and of course the logout page and this here up here will be like your icon from the friend feed and your link to your 
uh, profile page and uh, pretty much uh, yeah I think it's pretty worthwhile um, I'm hoping sooner or later the guy makes a desktop app maybe for people who you know maybe like a desktop app who wants to like you know like uh, you know maybe don't want to go to the site but they can have the desktop app too which will be connected um, another thing I don't know it don't bother me as much but I think the ability well, I guess because friend feed, you can upload, uh, M, you know, like MP3s and other things like files and photos, as you can see. Like, you know, you can upload, I mean, you could add an audio MP3, but it has to be a URL. But I'm pretty sure there's probably, a, I don't know if there's a way to work around it to upload it to, to friend feeds. Um, ser they, have, they actually have a server where they have, like, all the <laughs> icons, but... Or all their uh, files and uh, media like that. You know, when you upload an MP3, it goes to a different place. But I know that can't be happening, but that'd be kind of nice. But this is okay for now. This is pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah, friendfeescheduler.com. That's, or actually, ffscheduler.com. And uh, pretty much that's all there is to it. And uh, you should check it out if you're on friendfeed.